All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Revolutionary, Revolutionary Girl Utena, Utena episode, episode four. four. Mm. Hell yeah, let's get into this. Yeah. I'm I'm I don't know. I'm I'm psyched. I'm jazzed. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm ready for this next episode. Yeah. Let's get some rule of cool. Let's get some mean girls and you know, mm. all that stuff mm. and overly dramatic characters. But even if let's one of those mean girls this. has like a brother complex, you know? That just adds to the meme factor. Ah, like, gotcha. Like, okay. With everything that we've gotten with the show so mm -hmm. far, Caleb, can you imagine? It, mm -hmm. There's no way it would exist, but can right. you imagine an abridged show for this? Right? Oh my god. Like, like, take all the antics, all the things that are happening, you know, and, and just, and just insert you could do over anything. It. You could do anything. And there's so much to work off of. Like, like, just... And we're only a few episodes into the show. Exactly. Just, just Prince Mick, Mick, uh, backhand, you know, like, like... It's a gold mm. mine. It's a gold mine. It's a gold mine. Yeah. Yep. But um, mm -hmm. let's yeah, let's get into this. Yeah. Alright. I'm already way more excited for this fight than the Sayanji fights. That's like saying pizza tastes good, you know? <laughs> 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 like you gotta have some weird cauliflower hey, shit hey, before it there, actually yeah. is not true. <laughs> have you ever tried uh, uh, keto pizza? Mm. No, but I don't really want to. Mm. D. D. G. Mm. Yeah, what's the story here? Yep, and yet you're still here. <laughs> she? Yeah, yeah. Oh, please tell me what my feelings are. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Oh. Interesting. Okay. So a duel for love. That'll be fun. Did you get a 98? Damn! Damn! <laughs> Man may be the head, but the woman is the neck. Oh! Oh! Wakaba. The giga chat of logic. <laughs> yeah. You know. Someone's a little happy. Yeah. I oh. swear. Hey. Did someone like pin like a slap me note on her back or something? Hell yeah. Tell those girls off. Yeah. A reasonable person on the student council? Right. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Well, he's not slapping her, so that's a start. Yeah. I love how he's just here. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is great. Yeah. Huh? Damn. Uh, art. Mm -hmm. So then why did the episode start yeah. with you two dueling? His heart skipping a beat. Yeah. Like just the way she speaks. Mm -hmm. Uh uh chip. 
彼女は姫宮さんは僕の知ってる子に少し似てるんですはあ、oh. それだけです Is Mickey's situation very similar to, to Utena's? Maybe? Where like a princess mm -hmm. changed his life and now he wants to be a princess, you know, to those? Maybe. Now, I'm, I'm really curious about this duel now. Yeah. And it's really fun to start with that because it's like, wait, wait, how do we get there from mm -hmm. from here? Exactly. Like, I want to just, just a good friend just, here. Just yeah. stick around, yeah. Yeah. Playing better now. Doesn't even need to think about it, it just comes to him. Mm. <laughs> Lost. That's a very specific word. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. So I was very much in a. So no Kagayaku Monoga Tori Moto Setara. Zehi or any more shit to see me. Mm -hmm. Alright, narrating time for the creepy okay. dolls! Yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I love this. I have no idea how it ties into the episode, but what if these two are actually just characters in the well, show? No, it's like the idea of chasing after ideals versus actually getting to know the person in front of you. Hmm. No, bitch, uh -uh. be gone. Uh, the vampire has been given permission to enter the threshold. Exactly. Damn it. <laughs> now you actually need some garlic ramen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could help with that, but... Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is all her imagination as to how it will go, yes. I, I will say, I love her laugh. Yeah. It's so bitchy. Like, oh, but she, oh, but he, uh, it's a weirdo. Is it? Flawless. <laughs> like, she reminds me of Lobelia. The yes. Lobelia girls in Orin. Oh, my God. <laughs> Asks and then just takes it anyway. <laughs> Chu takes it and eats it. What? The twist that never, never could have been seen coming. Yes. That's why you always get permission first. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the names. But have you named them yet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Haven't you learned? Yes. That's a garter snake? Hey, could, yeah, garter snakes can be pretty decently big, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing! 
が CP だから<笑>まあなんて可愛らしい机私もこういうの欲しいわ If it's spiders I swear to god like Among us! Yes! Kill, kill the snake! Ricky Ticky Tabby! Like spent all night. Yep, Ricky Ticky Tabby, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's go! <gasps> Thanks for feeding him! Snakes are his favorite! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Damn. Alright, tell me now, what animals do you have here? <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't let it be a spider. I swear to God, I can see where this is going. Oh, okay. Oh. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, and this, yeah, the sounds. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've misjudged you. That's kinky. <laughs> I had no idea you were into kinky stuff. That's awesome. <laughs> she sounds exhausted. <laughs> yeah, and the hair kind of poking out at the different angles now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now what is she going to find in here that's worse than an octopus? Or like... I love how she just has the rubber gloves. And then it won't get off, and she's definitely not drawing attention to yourself with that laugh before you do. Oh no! Oh no! A big one! No! Oh my God! No. It's so cute! No! Yeah, I'm sorry at this point. Oh! I'm so sad. It's a balloon! Wow! Ah. <laughs> yeah, and the little. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh. That's great. <laughs> Hopefully she's still getting the, the, the math stuff, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nanami is no longer here now. Yeah, exactly. I am only a being of pure innocence, and in that I will never harm a person ever again. Bento. Oh. <laughs> and it's one it's of just the classic your... super huge bentos. <laughs> With the little octopus wiener on his head. The steam was... She's about to explode. <laughs> mm -hmm. Strawberry and lemon is a very good combination. Mm -hmm. She's gonna try and be like, dang it, this is actually good. Oh my god! <laughs> Save him! No, let him die. He's lived out his purpose. So she didn't even necessarily hear that. <gasps> She's gonna play the piano. Oh, uh, and now, now he's gonna duel for her. Mm, uh huh. Oh. Did his sister die, maybe? Mm. Okay, I was worried for a second there. Mm. Okay. 
Okay, right. so it's a multi-part thing where we got cool. the ending at the beginning, basically. I like it. Okay. I'm really glad that even though even though they did kind of keep it to the formula in that there was a duel shown starting at the beginning, mm -hmm. we didn't actually have a duel this episode. So This might we were, be my favorite episode thus far, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah me too. Huh, what do you know? No Sionji. The episode's amazing. Okay. Although we still had to have Anthe getting slapped. Yeah, that I think... I really appreciate if that pattern stopped because so far it's only happened to Anthe. I think there's a reason for that. Uh-huh. Yeah. All okay. Right. Okay. That was a really fun episode. Really good episode. The comedy bit was what it was needing to be, and it mm -hmm. was repetitive for the purpose of the comedy. And and I think it, it worked. And it, it worked. It was yeah. fine, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the best parts of the episode are how we introduced Mickey as a character. Yep. Hey, Fantastic what do you know? Character. When you introduce a character that is like a nice person, it's really easy to get the audience sympathies. And when you have the audience sympathies, it's just a really fun time, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. Yeah, but We're not Mickey. just... But not just that, he has some very obvious flaws and some very obvious strengths. There's mm -hmm. a lot of things that are obviously, he's an easier person to like than most. Mm -hmm. But I think it's not just that. I think it's that you can very clearly see that there's going to be something that will be in contradiction to the way that he currently sees Anthe. And yet he ends right. up, uh, you know, doing the duel and everything. So yeah. it's the, oh shit, wait. So... He idealizes, on some level, the song mm. and the experience, maybe, of playing the song sure. with somebody who can, you know, create that sound, right. that, that, that beauty that he, he uh -huh. longs to express. But does he actually know Anthe as a person? And that could be where the comedy with um, the, the sister mm -hmm. um, is actually helpful of exploring it. Why do you just see her as yeah. always like cute? Everything's cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Because on the one hand, it's the haha, -ha, yes, this is great. You know, we don't want Anthe to, you know, be hurt or taken advantage exactly, of. Exactly, because way. that's yeah. happening enough as it is. So exactly. okay, so let's make it so that yeah, she scheme she does she does all her scheming, but it all comes to naught. Awesome. Yeah. Breath of fresh air. Yeah, breath of fresh air. And yeah. and it's the oh hey, you don't necessarily beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't have to be something where it conforms to traditional standards, right? Mm -hmm. She could have, you know, a bunch of snails in her eraser case, and it's just, oh, yeah, that's their home, and that's what I do, yeah. you know? She names them. <laughs> right, she names them. It's great. Yeah. Like, this was, a, this was a very fun way to characterize Anthe, mm -hmm. and that's something that I would say has very much been needed, because yes. up until now, I would say Anthe has kind of been a prop, yeah. like, and that's part of, I think, the themes and stuff. Right, as well. because but yeah, exactly, because she is actively being treated as a prop in the world. So right. th then, in the narrative, yes, she's also kind of prop. Cool. And then, and then, as the story goes on, I'm guessing we'll get yeah. to see how it changes from that, and we get to see who she is and what she's like and all that stuff. She mm -hmm. has the animals. She makes the little flip animations instead of studying for math. You know, it's like right. cool. Yeah, let's let's get to see who this person is. And setting up a media in media res uh, mm -hmm. kind of situation where the uh, character of Miki is shown, oh, being antagonistic in the beginning, and then we go back an indeterminate amount of time to show potentially how we got to that point. Right. But oh wait, Miki's amazing. What? Yeah. Why? It's... Why would you? Why would you end up trying to duel for mm -hmm. Anthe? Isn't that like Not... counter to most of what you? Oh wait. Right. But maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just that there's a couple things holding Mickey back, and sure. it's not even that he's really in love with Anthe, is that he's in love with the idea or the ideal, uh -huh. the the image in his head, right. the the sound in his heart, not really the person of Anthe, and that's maybe the way in which Utena can teach him basically the no, you need to see her for who she is, and yet Utena also Utena doesn't really know Anthe, doesn't really know Anthe either. Yeah, so is there's a there's a lot of really cool things that Anthe is being used to explore other characters. But yet, you're right, in this episode, we actually got to know Anthe quite a bit as well mm -hmm. by seeing her little idiosyncrasies and things oh, that yeah. she cares about. Like, and it's like, oh, sweet. Like, she's such a subdued character and how mm -hmm. she acts around other people. Right. I was I was very like the the things of the the animals and stuff, it's like, okay, that's 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 fun and stuff, but that was also part of the joke. The joke, you know? yeah. So like I didn't I that she's didn't stand the princess, out to me as much. so she has animal right. friends. Exactly, stuff. but when she made the flip animation and then started just Laughing cracking to up, herself, yeah, yeah, like that, I was like, oh, okay, we're mm -hmm. seeing the real Anthe, right? That's that's genuine emotion that's being expressed without mm -hmm. concern or anything like that, right? Yep. 
So that one shows that she is comfortable around these people, right? Mm -hmm. Even if, say, some of them maybe, you know, aren't the best, right? Mm -hmm. And so, okay, cool. Let's get more of that. Let's let's see the ways in which when Mickey is like, ah, yes, I'm going to duel for you. Well, she has a much better relationship with Mickey than, say, with Sionji. So they might mm -hmm. actually be able to talk about that and be like, hey, you, you don't have to duel for me. Or like, right. you know, whatever. However the show wants to take it. Yeah. So... Yeah. yeah, and also seeing Mickey with uh, his stopwatch thing going mm -hmm. off. There were a couple times where it hit very quickly. It's like, okay, what's the Which what's the deal there? Not just that, but like, what starts it? Like, well, what what specifically like? Mm -hmm. And like, usually, is it a click, click like a like every time that it's pressed to stop, it had been going like because of something else, or was it a? Oh no, I just reset it from immediately after the last time I stopped it. Sure. And one of the other things that I think is interesting here is that we had him stopping his stopwatch a bunch in this episode when the president was only in like one of the scenes. And up until now, the pattern that I had perceived is that it would be as a result of something the president did. Well, that's because Mickey's literally only been in the student council room. Okay, so that's, that's fair. That and the president kind of dominates those scenes because he's the president. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I felt that there was something more about when people, like when others do specific things, mm. except it was something that happened in the library that made me go, wait, no, that's not true. It was yeah. when he's correcting the paper, no one else is there. Right. No so one else is there. The, like, maybe, maybe this is a... Uh, 0.5 seconds. Right. This is a, this is a stretch. This is a stretch. Yeah. But... um. Throwing this out there, mm -hmm. given that he's into music, the timing, timing mm -hmm. things, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Right. Given that he's struggling with music and he's wanting to tune himself, mm -hmm. maybe the timer isn't actually for things happening around him. Mm -hmm. Something maybe internal. Something internal, right? Yeah. So he's so he's keeping he's keeping like basically just a watch over himself. And he's doing stuff, and then oh, okay, you know, <laughs> you know what it might be, and this what? is something it might be. It's kind of interesting. It's a sound. Okay. It's like, click, click. It has like mm -hmm. a. Uh, um, how do I say this? Um, it's distinctive. Yes, but it's it's the kind of thing where uh, it's like a signal in that what okay. it might mean is that okay, I'm resetting. It's not that uh, sure. something a, happened uh, immediately. Then kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the kind of thing of where I'm tricking my brain to then go and being like, nope, go back to whatever mm -hmm. the base line is. Yeah. Okay. And this is the I need to be tuned. It's the I'm giving myself basically the reminder of that's what it is. There's a reminder basically of like mm -hmm. the nope, don't do that. Cool. And given that his issue is expression, mm -hmm. I immediately like like jumped him up to like my favorite, like one of my favorite characters oh, yeah. thus far because human heart in conflict with itself. Yes, yeah. which means that if his issue is he has this beauty that he doesn't mm -hmm. know how to express inside of him, what if it's the ah when the beauty is something that he uh, like finds basically some element of uh, either clarity or some element of conflict. He does this to basically be like, cool, that's good. Or, oh, stop, like rebalance. Uh -huh. yeah. And it's more of a thing to just keep him um, in, not in check, but in a, in a state where he will become better at expressing that. Yeah, that I, I can totally see that. And it, it's yeah. it's fun because when I, like, my preconceptions about Mickey before this episode, granted, mm -hmm. we didn't have a lot to go on, of course, right? Right. But um, I, I categorized him into a different archetype. Oh, sure. Not as the uh, Bishonen, like, like, very emotionally in tune kind of character, but actually as the cold analytical type mm -hmm. character, right? He has the stopwatch. He's right. very precise. He's got the blue hair. That you might know, have been right? intentional, yeah. That might be intentional. And so then it's it's not about him being one or the other, but potentially the contrast between the two. Mm -hmm. If he is kind of the analytical type, he's very good at the math. You know, he can teach them all that stuff. And right. Do those things. You know, he has the stopwatch. But he but longs to express. Exactly. Yeah. It's the, that's what's on the outside, but what's on the inside is something completely different. Mm -hmm. Don't judge by appearances, yeah. right? Appearances can be deceiving. You know, mm -hmm. things, things, and and uh, the cat, the thing that you tr put someone in to categorize them might uh -huh. not be the best fit. Utana, right? 
Yeah. Oh, she's a girl, but she's wearing a prince's uniform. Mm -hmm. You know, Anthe, she's the rose bride, but like, no, she's actually like really quirky. And like when she actually is, is feels free to express herself, you see someone completely different she's than kind the of a jokester. silent. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, so having something like that with Mickey, I love it. Having him be the first member of the student council that can kind of be like brought into the folds because, right. you know, eventually just enter their Right, kind of exactly. Space. You know, it's I the, was like yes. Yeah, thank just you. because I'm on the student council doesn't mean I'm a dick. Like, right. I mean, you know, Sanji, yeah, he's an asshole, and President's a whole character right there. <laughs> you know, but like, nah, let's just hang out. You know, yeah, I'll help you with your math. Cool. <laughs> I awesome. just thought of a really dumb joke, but I'm gonna wait until the president is involved doing his thing again, and mm -hmm. then I'll make the joke. But just make note now. Um, <laughs> In, in the like... joke is going to come, and it's going to be very, very um, ridiculous. So okay, I, I'm I, sorry. I, I, that's, anyway, that has really never random. happened in the history of, of our this channel. channel. Yeah, I know. I'm very curious now what it is. <laughs> I'm also just doing it to tell myself to remember it because it oh, just doesn't uh -huh. make sense to say now. But I, I wanted to say, I think you hit the nail on the head right there with the idea that it's a restrained expression of the kind that is typically not expected here, um, and that's what the piano is. Mm. The piano is a tie to his past when he might have been a different person. Sure. And he was able to tap it a little bit more into that beauty. So in some ways, the part here that I see as being the explanation as to why he'll be okay with dueling for the Rose Bride is that there's a selfish angle to this that is consistent with the other members of the student council in that they're all actually rather selfish. Okay. But like his it. thing is that he sees his own freedom or his own ability to soar with his emotions and stuff as being something that is worth whatever it takes to get there. And sure. thus it's the, but she will save me. Well, I also... will use her effectively to free myself. And then it's the, well, wait, do you actually care about Auntie? Then well, she doesn't want that. And, and here's another thing that could be done with this. So... Mm -hmm. I mentioned in the episode, oh, wait, is his sister dead? She doesn't necessarily have to be. But mm. he is not in contact with this person anymore, it would mm -hmm. seem, right? Yeah. And that could just be regular life stuff or whatever. Who knows? Totally. But we are in a weird world. After we that. are in a weir weird world. But I could see this being something where it's also a form of uh, projecting mm. that because she reminds me of this person that I was very close to, uh. it's... It's not well, a situation. Well, then we'll definitely be close too. We'll definitely be close too. And no, Utsuna, you're just you're getting in the way. Mm -hmm. Like, like no, yes, it's a stupid thing, but you know that's how it works. So I'm I'm going to play by those rules to you know make things be the way that they're supposed to be. Just you know? let this happen. Right, right, exactly. And yeah. also, I gotta say, mm. I love that this is a to be continued episode. Oh yeah. Like they're multi-part th mm -hmm. mini we arc. Can, we can as we have stakes at the beginning with the in media res which is then contrasted even more with the fact yep. that we immediately really like Mickey as a character mm -hmm. and now it's the okay how does this get resolved? And mm -hmm. the thing is, I could see it being something that isn't just resolved with the duel. The duel right. like even if the duel is where the episode ends, then that's just the starting point for his character arc as he's learning to you know, mm -hmm. do things differently since right. he maybe makes some mistakes with regards to the whole duel and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then it's, oh, where does he go from here? Yep. Like, very exciting awesome. stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. This show's starting to show its uh, its chops with character writing and mm -hmm. um, uh, visual and nonverbal storytelling with regards to the way uh, he acts around certain people and doesn't act around certain people. So, yeah. all right. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next, next time. time.